Kaylin. I hope that this video finds you well. Today, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I have a lot of different kind of Christian room decor ideas. This is just the creative ideas that God has put into my mind. But I thought, why not share with you a project that is so simple that you can do with your kids as well. And it has to do with having scripture up in our rooms and a way to get our kids involved with that and focusing on that as kids. So I'm really excited to do this. I've been really wanting to do this with Elia. Elia is four. Do you want to say hi? Hi. So she's going to be my helper today. I'm just doing this for the first time. I think I have what I need. I'm kind of gonna fudge things along the way and I'm sure that might be helpful to you because I feel like so many times we don't have everything we need to do a project. So anyways, I hope that this helps you. It's gonna be super inexpensive, but I'm gonna show you what we're gonna use for the project and let's get started. Get the toilet. Okay, let's show what we need first. You wanna sit down right here? Okay, so first I have this frame from Ikea. It's called a Fisk Bow. It's size 12 by 16. It's very cheap, it's very inexpensive, but we like this because this is perfect for the project we're gonna do. It's plastic, it has like a plastic covering, and I think it's a wood frame. Oh my, I should tell what we're gonna do. Oh my gosh, okay. So what I want to do, I have this frame from Ikea, and what we're gonna do is have a frame that can hang up on the wall, and we can write scripture on it, so we can focus on a Bible verse each week, and I'm thinking just to use, can you grab me that marker please? Just to use a white out marker on it, or a whiteboard marker on it, write a different Bible verse on it each week. I mean, you could change it however frequently you want to change it, but I was thinking of having this by your bed. Would you rather have it by your bed to do at bedtime or in the nursery to talk about in the day? Or we could have one in each place too. Yeah. Do you want one in each place? Yeah. Okay. Well, not really, not really bedtime, but we can do Yay, after dinner. After dinner? Yeah. Well, after dinner, I'll pay him to watch. I'll put it into a weekend. No, oh, Haven can do it with us. Oh. Yeah, she should learn the Bible too, right? Okay. Anyway, so we're going to use this cheap frame from Ikea. I think this was maybe 4 or $5. It's called Fisk Bow. I'm just going to put like something nice behind it. You could literally put a piece of white paper, and I have been considering that. But again, I didn't go to the store to buy anything for this. So there's kind of an issue I'm gonna have to work with, but I have this Bristol paper. It's like kind of like cardstock paper in these long pieces. And months ago in the winter, I was painting all sorts of different things just for fun when I was sick. And I thought I could use some of these because I already have them. You don't have to paint something fancy. I was originally just gonna do white, just something really minimal with like a black border, maybe just paint literally a black border along the rectangle and do it on there just for like that simple clean minimal look so that would be super easy you don't need any artistic skills for that but I have these I was trying to find ones that could be more of a background and I have this kind of watercolory one so we could use this one here's like two abstract ones so I could do these okay but here's where the problem came in this is an inch shorter than this I have two frames here one is open this one is not could you please give me that cardboard too? I have such a good little helper so this is the back for the frame. It has like, you can either hang it horizontally if you prefer that. That's a good idea too, huh? Or vertically. But my issue is, this is one inch short. So I'm trying to figure out what to do. You know, I kind of liked the idea of it floating. So you can see the wall behind it and it's kind of smaller. I do have scissors. I think everyone has scissors, but I also have a paper cutter. Be careful with your children with this one. So you can use either. You can measure with scissors or you can use a paper cutter, but let's get started. All right. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do it on this little ottoman so you can see what I'm doing. Let's see. So we want this paper to fill up the whole back of it. I'm just gonna use a little pen to mark where to cut this. This is during my younger child's nap time, so this is not gonna be a hard project. If you had the right size paper, this could literally take you five or 10 minutes, so. This is very sharp, so no fingers allowed, okay? okay. You will see it cuts the paper. I made two little lines here, so I'm just gonna cut off the edge. You don't always have to have exactly what you need for a project. Sometimes that's what your brain is for, and you can do things your own way. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? So let's see, does it fit? It's always better to take off less than to take off more, right? Because you can't put it back. So we have that so far. That looks good, right? Work, but not that Yeah, we gotta fix that, right? I mean, that doesn't look bad. It's just a different look, but it does kind of look like it just doesn't fit. What do you think? Okay, change of plans. I'm gonna keep it this way. I can cut the cardboard on the sides a little bit so you can't see the cardboard and you can see the wall, 
but since it looks like an accident, like it doesn't fit, I'm actually going to trim it a little bit extra on the side so it looks more intentional. This is me here just kind of fudging things, but that's fine by me. So, okay, so the paper cutter does not go that far, so I'm just gonna do it freehand. So I'm gonna cut a little bit off this side. This is artwork in my home with my children. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's more about remembering to focus on God's word and a nice way to be surrounded by it. Oh, what happened to your paper cutter? Well, it can't go this way. Because see how this stops it? So I can't cut it the long ways. So now I'm going to trace this. I'm going to make sure it's in the middle and then cut off by hand on the cardboard the extra. Okay, so I have a pencil. I'm going to trace the no, sides of this. No, you have more. I have my daughter's pencil. So I'm going to trace the sides of this so we can trim the cardboard so you don't see that kind of ugly part sticking out. But again, I want to trace it in the middle because if I don't, then I feel like it won't hang straight, right? Because the mount is on the cardboard. I'm just doing a little bit extra on each side so that way it doesn't peek out at all. I have two lines. They're about an inch in. And then the mounting hardware is on this side, so it still gives room for the mounting hardware. So now I'm gonna cut this side. What do you want your Bible verse to be about? The fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit? Mm -hmm. Okay, we can have the Bible verse about that. That's a good one to focus on. Do you remember any of the fruits of the Spirit? The pear. Okay, not the actual fruit that mommy's drawn, but do you remember what they mean? Because it's not actually about fruit, it's about what we produce in our lives when we walk with God. So that means when we spend time with God and walk by His Spirit, which lives inside of us, He helps us be things that He wants us to be, like oh. loving and gentle and kind. Okay, we cut that off. Let's see. Yay, it fits. Okay, so let's just try it like this and see how it looks. So I got some scotch tape. Again, I'm not a professional, but I'm someone like you, and I'm sure you have most of the stuff at your house. I'm not buying anything fancy. I'm just rolling it in so it's sticky on both sides. If you have a double stick tape, or if you want to make it more permanent and like put spray adhesive on it or something like that, please take this up another level for me if you like, but I don't have that stuff, and I just want to keep it simple and easy, right? Because that way you can help me, right? Yeah, maybe it will stick on the wall. No, well this part wants to, we need to stick it on the cardboard, because I'll show you, okay? And then the cardboard will hold it into the frame. Okay, so I just did five pieces. Let's see how it works. Put it on the cardboard. Again, you can totally skip this step if uh -oh. you have paper that fits. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That would be awesome. Well, mommy wanted it to stick out. Here, mommy kind of did that on purpose. You know why? Because I don't want you to see the cardboard coming out because I don't really like how it looks very much. I think the painting's prettier, so that way you don't see it come out from the side. But we still need this part to hang on to the wall. Does that make sense? Okay, so should we try it? And then we can try writing the Bible verse on this. This one's kind of dirty. You know what, we should clean this. Okay, I've had this for a while because I haven't done this project for a while. As you know, I've been sick and not been able to do a lot, so I'll spray it down after, but I just want to get the dust off. There's really a need to just gather a bit of dust. So now we're gonna put the frame in, or the painting in the back. We're gonna get it right in the center, well as best we can. So I'm not gonna be using these little metal pieces on the side since my special one has a gap on the side. But hey, no one knows it's not supposed to be that way. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. You know, there's no wrong way to do anything, especially art. So just be free. Don't feel like you have to copy this. Do it however the heck you wanna do it. Yay, what do you think? Uh oh, this is popping out a little bit. Oh, my bad, you know what? You actually do use the side ones because you wanna hold the plastic in, so do put these side ones down. And then it will hold it in place even better. Ta-da! Should we try and write a Bible verse on it? Yeah. Okay, so you need a Bible, whether it be in print or on your phone, right, to get a Bible verse. So, actually on Instagram, I was scripture writing and I wrote this one down. It's Psalm 1, and it actually inspired me to do this project because it talks about meditating on God's word, and it was a good reminder to me. What Bible would you want? Mommy's gonna do the one I read to you at lunch about meditating on God's word. Do you know why I'm choosing that one? Okay, she wants one about fruit of the spirit. The one I'm gonna pick, it might just be part of it. I'll read it to you, it's Psalm 1. Oh, the joys of the Lord who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand around with sinners, or join in with mockers. But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night, 
They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit in each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. There is more to that. It talks about the wicked and whatnot, but I think this will be really good for us to focus on because it reminds us to focus on reading God's word and all the benefits that it gives us. I know it's an encouragement to me that I can bear fruit in every season, even when I'm going through something hard. Even though things are changing and can look differently, we can always be abiding in Christ and bearing fruit in Him. It's just such an encouragement in that our leaves will never wither and will prosper in all we do. So that's why it's so important to read God's word and why I want to focus on that with my children. So let's write that one down. By the way, this is working great. I should have tried this before, but it was kind of obvious to me that you could easily write on this. Okay, first I'm going to write the Bible verse up here. Okay, so we have Psalm 1, verses 2 through 3. You can make this look as fancy or simple as you like. So it's, but they delight in the law of the Lord. My daughter really wants to each have a verse of her own, so we're gonna make two, so we can each pick a verse out. I had the idea that she could, obviously she doesn't know the whole Bible, but if she tells me a theme she wants, maybe a verse about fear, because she struggled with fear, then we can write a Bible verse about combating fear, which I think would be an awesome one to have by her bed at night. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. So that way you could look at the verse and remember that verse. Wait. I don't want for daytime too. But do do we have other one to eat? Yeah. The one right behind you. How about we eat the one for daytime and nighttime? So four of them? See, she wants four of them now. See, this is working, guys. <laughs> Why do you want four of them? Do you think that would be so awesome? Yeah. And then we can focus on all of God's good words. What's the favorite one to read for nighttime? I can't have the fear at nighttime. Yes, that's a good idea. And the fruit of the spirit could be more daytime, right? Because that way we can focus on those things during the day, all the things that God wants to produce in us, right? Oh, like a one, they are like trees, like trees. You know what? That actually goes exactly with this Bible verse because it says that, but they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. So God says it's important to focus on his word at daytime and nighttime. So how did you know that you're so smart? So that's so important to do it daytime and nighttime. So that's a great idea. Halfway done. This is really easy to write on. I'm so excited, this is so fun. We could even draw a picture that relates to the Bible verse if we want, huh? I want you to draw one for me. Okay. If there's space on this, I could draw a tree because it talks about the tree being planted by the river, right? Just coming out of the season we've been in with sickness and a lot of challenges. I just really want to implement more things like this. I know it's so easy, whether whatever season you've been in, to get caught up in the busyness of life and just making it day by day. But I just want to focus on things like this and have more of a routine with healthy habits like this. So if this isn't something you do, wasn't something I did, but it's something that I've been wanting to do and I'm sitting down and doing right now and it's actually so easy. I encourage you to do this as well. Okay, you can open that one. My daughter wants to open the next one. She really wants to make the next one. I like that it's going to look pretty on our wall too. It's going to be like a nice room decor thing. Sorry, it's hard to talk while I'm writing right now. I want it to be accessible for my daughter so we can easily change them when we want to, but who might touch them and smear them all up? Hey then, we have a little one, right? Yeah. So we should probably put them where she can't reach them, huh? Yeah. And hang them up and then mommy can take it down when we want to change it. Does that sound like a good yeah. idea? Here's how it turned out. I'll try and get some other footage. I didn't try and write it fancy, this is just my handwriting. The second one, this was Ellie's choice. She wanted this print and this is going to be hers so she can do whatever Bible verse she wants on this one. Are you excited? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Okay, let's do your Bible verse now. So we will let her write her name. So it says, Galatians, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I think they came out so pretty. So that was the one my, sis my, my sister, my sister in Christ, my daughter, Elia, wanted the fruit of the Spirit. And then the other one is Psalms, the one you saw me do. So I really love how this one turned out. As you can see, I put the black border on it just to kind of make it stand apart from the print. She wanted me to write Taven, my two daughters' names on the bottom. So 
I want to do more of these. I honestly want some of these downstairs and upstairs. I just think this is beautiful art for our walls that can engage us in the Word of God. So I hope you guys love this video. I'd love to know what you think of this idea. Oops, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Okay, good. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this idea. And if you would want to do something like this, I think it's going to look so nice on the wall. And I love that it's interactive and helps us focus on God's Word. If you want to see more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel so you can stick around for more encouraging content about motherhood, God. Do you think other mommies should do this with their kids? Yeah. Do you think their children would like that? Yeah. Love you so much? Yeah, love you so much. Give this video a like. Oh, um, there is a video and just watch my mom's channel. If you want to see more content. I want to see more content. <laughs> love you guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.